last year, I called on St. Lucians to be courageous and hopeful in anticipation of a challenging 2019. And sure enough, 2019 has been a very challenging year with a worrisome economic and social environment. Many businesses continue to struggle and crime continues to undermine the safety and security of our citizens and their property. I wish it were not so, but sadly, these are the realities of our time. In spite of the challenges, I still believe that together we can change the troubled face of our country. We can return our country to a place of tranquility, tolerance and trust through the collective will of all those who desire a better St. Lucia. Our 238 square mile country is all we collectively can claim to be ours and we must, therefore, jealously guard and protect it. As we approach the year 2020, I call on all St. Lucians to be actively engaged in shaping the future of this country. The future of our country cannot be left in the hands of a few men and women while the rest of us sit idly by as victims of a disabling environment. People power must speak loudly and clearly for a better St. Lucia in 2020 and beyond. Let us remember at this time all the vulnerable groups in the society and extend acts of generosity towards them. They too have a part to play in shaping our future. May our country be wrapped in the spirit of love, especially at this Christmas season. It is through love that we'll find hope and the courage to journey along the path of shaping a better St. Lucia. My usual thanks and best wishes to my constituents of Castries East. I continue to feel proud and privileged to represent all of you. Your support has provided me with the strength and energy to remain steadfast in the fight for a more equitable, just, and inclusive society where differences of opinion will be respected and accepted. Thanks to my comrades in the St. Lucia Labour Party and staff at my offices, I am fortunate and grateful for your contribution to the movement for change. My family and I wish all St. Lucians, including those in the diaspora, a happy and peaceful Christmas and a healthy and fruitful 2020. I thank you.